That's doable. That is definitely it really is. Over three, I mean, over three and a half years left about on the gun track, yes. Which, which is amazing. 80 home runs left. He, I, EK, I really like what you say, how you describe him, the right-handed Barry Bonds, because I, I think he, you know, you look at him now and you're always, well, the contract, right? Mm -hmm. He's got the big contract. And he, he's not what he was. Right. Well, he's still pretty ball. good, and what he was was otherworldly. Well, and that's the thing is we compare him to what he was, which, again, father time you know, make sure that that doesn't happen forever. Right. What he was for, for 10 years, I and mean, we talked about it the other night, you know, it's around 330, it's 40 some home runs, 120 some RBIs. You know, and, and in this 10 year window, seven of those years, he was first or second in the MVP award voting. Well, he lost a couple to Barry Bonds. Right, I mean. Right. He should have been MVP thing, in a couple of those you know, years, but Barry's year was just bigger, so. Right. I mean, put things. In context here, if he had got those MVPs, you're talking about a career like Barry Bonds. No, you're talking about, I'd say, what, probably one of the top five right-handed hitters to ever play the game. I no mean, to it. ever play the I game. I think that's, that's no doubt about it. up. I think you're right. Like that, that, when you think of it and you put it in that context, you go, geez. Anytime you say ever. Ever play the game. Ever. Yeah. And I, think, I think you're right there, EK. I really do. And think about this historical-wise. Major leagues now, four straight years, we've seen someone hit their 3,000 career hit milestone. That's never happened before. So we've, uh, we've, we've gotten used to this scene. The pools, and yeah, really cool stuff. Emotional, nice job by the Mariners, kind of get out of the way and let him enjoy that mm -hmm. a little bit. And uh, meanwhile, you know, both these teams right in the mix. It was a pretty important series for these two teams. So last year we had the Baby Bombers, right? And now we have the, the, the even uh, more baby bombers, I guess, because Andujar with the game winner, and then Glaber Torres, um, the really hot prospect who's been great, first home run. So what have they done to this Yankee lineup, Frank? I just said it earlier. You know, Torres has been in the lineup. They're 11-1, and one, but Andujar and Torres, since they've been there, they're the, they're the missing piece of this puzzle. This is one through nine in this lineup. There's no easy outs. These guys can flat out hit. If they get decent pitching all season long, it's going to be hard for Boston to, keep, to hold a lead against these guys because this is one of the most explosive teams I've seen in a very long time in all of baseball. Well, a, a difficult team to face pitching-wise, but I think these guys both bring a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. the, the youthfulness, the excitement of being in the big leagues. And Duhar is a bit more of a free swinger. And again, he's got, he's got a lot of extra base hits. I think 16 extra base hits. But the on-base percentage is right around 300. A lot of strikeouts, not many walks. So... That translates over the course of a season. I'm not sure that he keeps it up. Torres, he's he's sick. I mean, that guy, the tools, that is that superstar caliber type player. But it, more than anything, just when you're out there and you see the younger guys and they're excited about playing and they're hustling, that rubs off. And that energy rubs off. And what the Yankees have there, uh, the excitement, those two have something that you can't quantify. And, They've really impacted the ball club. Uh, and another thing they do is take the pressure off Giancarlo Stanton. You know, earlier, every at bat, people were criticizing that he's not hitting a home run or whatever else. When you bring up two exciting young players like that, the focus changes a little bit. Mm -hmm. they, they realize they got a great team. And now Giancarlo can lock in and do what he does, and along with Aaron Judge. This is going to be a special summer. I haven't heard one Bronx. thing about Aaron Judge. Exactly. He's, ha he's having an, a terrific year, but there's so much else going on with the right. Yankees. I mean, it, it's it, going to be a crazy summer. I can it, feel it. You come off that year, the judge does, and it's like no pressure. It's the weirdest <laughs> thing in the world playing in New York, but that's how it's gone. Dave Roberts' team has no hit the San Diego Padres tonight in game one of the Mexico series. Well, in that Monterey. is the first time in Major League Baseball history <laughs> that someone has collected their 3,000th career hit. Pujols did it earlier for the Angels, and there's been a no-hitter. <laughs> that is crazy. I'll tell you, in a season so far for the Dodgers, it's been filled with a lot of disappointment, yeah. sour news. This couldn't come at a better time. They've got Walker Bueller out on the mound. He throws six innings and no-hit ball. He looks like he could be a number one, and then they finish it off with the no-hitter. Excited for the organization. Yeah, I mean, you think about, you know, it's interesting, right, with all the things you talked about, the injuries going on. Bueller looks fantastic so far. And you knew we were watching. You knew he, he wasn't going to be able to finish. They're going to keep his pitch count low. But pretty special tonight, Frank. How about this night in baseball? You know, he's throwing a ball between 96 and 98 consistently mm -hmm. with that fastball popping in with other, all his other pitches. He looked very, very good to follow, to follow Kershaw. You know, I just feel bad for San Diego right now to go all the way to Mexico and go no hit it. I mean, uh, that, get no hit it. I'm telling you, it's, it's tough to be in a locker room after no hitter. I've been on, on a couple of times. And to be in Mexico and got to go all the way home and said, we could have stayed at home and did that, right? 
I mean, nobody got a hit? They're going to be there again tomorrow. So they're not <laughs> they will. 12th combined no-hitter in Major League history. Unbelievable. No-hitter combined for the Dodgers. Oh. Four pitchers come back and do some more. What a night. Bring the AAA team next time. That is a rough one. <laughs>